I'm here today with Damien from Side by Side Addicts. He's a vendor for Premier Clutch. Anytime you need advice or services, be sure to get a hold of Damien and thank you for your allowing us to have the interview. Yeah. Feel free to call us with any questions or concerns on your clutches. We offer all the uh, Premier Off-Road Clutch parts, rollers, anything you have you need to bring in or ask about on your clutch, come see us, 623-866-2887, or we're located at 2202 uh, West Lone Cactus Drive, Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks, guys. Welcome to Tech Tips. My name is Don with Premier Clutch. We're at Side by Side Addicts shop today, looking at a few different styles of the secondary clutches and some of the issues that happen to them. Obviously, you've probably seen all the sites that tell you how to take them apart, but we're going to go into a little more depth about your secondary clutch. There are a couple of different styles of secondary clutch. Of course, we call it square block, but this is a boss style secondary and boss means built on shaft secondary. So that means that the shaft goes through and holds the clutch together. The other style of clutch is a little more common and comes out in some of the 900s and of course the 1000s. And it has a shaft in it. So that's why this one's built on the shaft and this one has the shaft as part of the clutch. We want to go into the built-on shaft secondary first. When you're looking at your clutch in the car, what do you look at trying to identify maintenance issues? Well, these clutches need to be maintained. Any of these need to be maintained just like brakes in your car. Uh, one thing to know It's built with a helix. The helix, of course, helps you with your engine braking. The helix comes into the back of this, and this section of the clutch is balanced between this bushing and this bushing. So if I open the back of my car and I grab the inside sheave and I'm getting an enormous amount of movement on the shaft, there's something the matter with either this bushing or this bushing. And the front half of the sheave is held just by this bearing in this steel sleeve. Now we have a couple of extra sleeves here to show you what they look like and of course the bearing. This one obviously is goners. Um, what typically happens with this type of assembly, the grease is blown out of the inside of this after a lot of riding. The bearing seizes momentarily and spins in this housing. Now, a lot of that is caused from never replacing the bearing. Well, most of us don't think about replacing, but at Premier Clutch, every single clutch we build gets a new bearing. The second thing you need to consider, this steel sleeve actually holds this assembly on that shaft. Well, the inside of these sleeves start to wear after an amount of time, and you'll get that ring wear right around the top, right here, and it allows the sheave to turn like this. So when we rebuild these clutches, we inspect these parts, and if you need a new one, you get a new one. Additionally, these clutches are built with a square block. Well, square versus round, we'd rather go with the round. We build a stock round roller that replaces the stock square, made out of a different type of plastic that has a lot of lubrication capabilities. But nine times out of 10, the clutch ramps are so extremely worn that putting this roller in isn't going to help you. It's just going to go back out again. So what we do is we remachine these ramps. Then we build an oversized roller, a custom roller for your clutch that will fit the new diameter, the new dimension of your clutch. Replace this bearing. We clean these sheaves. 
This one obviously can't even be cleaned. Now that's the built-on shaft secondary. Now I'd like to get into the standard secondary. The standard secondary has an inside sheave that has a replaceable bushing. It makes it a great rebuild because this can be pressed out, press in a brand new bushing, and it tightens up the whole assembly again. These bushings don't last forever. Uh, once they hit 1,500 to 2,000 miles, just get them rebuilt. Otherwise, you're going to lose your $550 clutch because you didn't maintain it. This one has been remachined and is ready to go back together for a customer once it's cleaned up and gets a new bearing installed. We make a stock replacement for the factory roller that fits in here and it's it's a different type of plastic. It's not a hard plastic. Some of the advertisements you'll see uh, advertise a two-year warranty, new material, but what you don't know is that, and here's an example, this is one of our competitor's rollers. It's extremely hard plastic. In fact, you can hear it grinding in there. It's so hard. It, 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 it basically grinds the dirt right into the aluminum and is extremely abrasive. What can happen or what will happen is it digs deep grooves in this aluminum ramp right here. So the best way to look at this is analogy of your car brakes. If I bought an extremely heavy duty set of brakes for my car or my truck and I drove it and drove it and drove it and I felt that I needed to change my brakes again, I would probably find out that I have to buy new rotors because my super, super heavy duty brake pads just wore my rotors away. Well, really our idea is that you need to have a set of rollers that won't compromise your, your clutch. Here's our rollers. Part of what we do is we have a special design for our roller that doesn't allow it to bind against this shaft. The rollers tend to twist and they bind against this shoulder right up here. So we've made arrangements so that doesn't happen. This is one of our competitor's rollers. Let me give you an example of how hard they are. I can take this roller and this aluminum right here and I can put a mark in it with this. I can take Premier's roller and I can't mark it. There's a good example of the difference between our rollers. The other thing that I'd like to talk to you about is just visual maintaining your clutches. Best thing to do when you look at your clutch, check just around the outside of this bearing where it fits into this housing. Most of the time you're going to see a little, a little bit of residual dirt. And what that's telling me is that that bearing has never spun in this housing. It's very, very important to keep your eyes on that because if it looks like this one, chances are this bearing has spun. And that's critical. Uh, you really need to keep an eye on that. If you're seeing this, send us the clutch. We'll do the best we can to be able to press a new bearing in it and rebuild your clutch before it's too late. What we suggest as an owner, I suggest this product. It's a small can, it has a lot of graphite in it, and it works extremely well. Just a little shot of graphite Just a little shot of graphite can help these loosen up. and free those rollers up. The liquid in it dries up and it leaves nothing but graphite. I know it's messy, 
But I tell you what, this is going to be the lifesaver of your clutch. Just using a little bit of graphite spray and getting those to where they'll turn.